Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can download and install .NET SDK in Windows 11 operating system so that we can develop .NET applications using the programming languages like C Sharp, F Sharp or uh, Visual Basic. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up any browser that is installed in our computer. I have uh, Microsoft Edge. I'm going to open it up and here we will open up Google.com and in Google, we will search for .NET SDK download. And in the search results, we can see that the first result is from Microsoft. It is uh, .NET .microsoft.com and we can see download.NET. So we will uh, click on this link and it will straight away take us to this particular page where we can see the download option. If you don't see this, then you can click on this downloads uh, in the navigation section and you will be taken to this particular page and here uh, we can see that uh, .NET SDK for 64-bit operating system is available to download. If you need any other downloads then you can click on this all .NET 8.0 downloads and you will get the download link for your specific platform. So here I'm going to download this .NET SDK x64. Once I click on that it will take us to this particular page and the download will begin automatically. If the download doesn't begin automatically, then you can uh, click on this uh, uh, click here to download manually. Now the download has begun. We will uh, wait for the download to finish. Okay. Now the download is complete. If I take the cursor on this downloaded file, then I can see this folder icon, which says show in folder. If I click on that, it will open up the folder where the downloaded files are saved generally in the downloads folder. Now in order to install .NET SDK, we will double click on this downloaded file. It will open up the installer and here we will click on install. If it asks for permission, then click on yes and provide the permission. Okay. Now the installation is uh, successful. We will click on close and then I'm going to close the folder and the browser that I have uh, opened. So now what we have done is we have downloaded and installed .NET SDK in Windows 11. The next thing that we do is we will make sure that everything is installed properly. To check that we will click on the start button. We will search for CMD. We will open up the command prompt. And in this command prompt, we will type in .NET space minus minus info. And after that, we will hit the enter button. Now we can see the information about the .NET that is installed in our computer. So if you get this particular message, then it means that you have installed properly. And the next thing that we can do is we can see the types of applications that we can build using the .NET SDK that we have installed. To check that, we will type in .NET space new space list and then we will hit the enter button. And we can see that um, these are the types of applications that we can develop using the .NET SDK that we have installed. For example, we can uh, create a class library project, which is for projects which produce the DLL files. And then we can uh, develop console applications and all these options. So the next thing that we see in this particular video is how we can create a new console application by using the .NET SDK that we have installed. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to go to the location where we want to save our project. In this video, I want to save my project in my desktop and that's why uh, I'm in my desktop and here I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on open in terminal. It will open up the PowerShell or command prompt in the desktop and here we will create a new project. So here we will type in .NET space new space and then we need to provide the type of application that we want to develop. Here I want to develop a console application. So I'm going to type in console and then space. We can give the name for the project and to do that we can use minus minus name and then the name for the project. So here I'm going to say hello world okay and after that we will hit the enter button now it will use the console app template and it will create the project and then 
once this command is completed in our desktop we can see hello world folder if i open up that folder then we can see the project that has been created by the dotnet sdk so now what we can do is we can use a, a text editor like visual studio code and we can uh, uh, start working on the project so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you have anything to say then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel